In exercise D, we are equally asked to change the following decimal numbers to percentages. So, as usual, you multiply by 100. This is said to be 45%. You multiply by 100. This gives you 56%. Because you move the decimal point twice, you multiply by 100. This is said to be 18.5%. You multiply this by 100. It gives you 76%. And when you multiply E by 100, you move the decimal point two times, it gives you 99%. And when you multiply this by 100, it gives you 1, 2, that is 14.55%. And G, you multiply by 100, it gives you 0.5%. H, you multiply by 100, it gives you, when you move the decimal point two times, it gives you 125%. And for I, what do you think will be the answer to question I? Kindly drop your answer at the comment section and let's see who gets it right. Kindly like my videos as you watch. Well, I recommend I subscribe to my channel if I yet to do so. Also, turn on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. You can also use the comment section to interact with me on areas that are still difficult for you to understand. You are advised to share the link with your friends and families so that they can also benefit from today's class. That brings us to the end of today's class. In today's class, we have looked at equivalent fractions, how to convert from fractions to percentages, be it in a proper fraction or a decimal fraction. In our next class, we shall look at how to convert from percentages back to fractions and decimal fractions. Do have a nice day. See you in our next class. Thank you.